Hello friends, do you know what this is? This is a terrarium. Now I will tell you what a terrarium is. A terrarium is an environment in which a plant is kept in a transparent glass container and is also kept in sunlight. Now, can you observe anything in this little terrarium? Oh yes, the layers of soil. As you can see, the bottommost layer is the layer of rocks and gravel. This layer is a thin layer of sand and this layer is a layer of clay mixed with humus. Now, when you will first put a bit of water, you can observe that the water sipping into the layers of soil. Usually, it stays in the clay and humus layer. But if there is more than needed water, it will go down to the lower layers and will get stored in the rocks and gravel layers. When it goes to the lower layers, that is called percolation. And when it stays in the rock and gravel layer, that is called as groundwater. This is again a small terrarium. I have made it using two plastic transparent cups. I also wanted to tell you these terrariums are just like our little world in a jar. <laughs> when I was making this terrarium, I got two major questions and I was curious to know their answers. Now, as we put the lid on top, how will the plant get water and how will it get air? Hmm, let me show you how. Now, let's find the answer to the question that how will it get water. As we are going to keep this jar in sunlight, the sun's heat will evaporate some of the water, which is called as evaporation. This water will, this water turns into water vapor and rises up. Then you can see that at the edges, it condenses. That is called condensation. It is just like little, little clouds form above it. Then happens precipitation. You can see tiny, tiny, tiny drops that are falling down to the soil. This is called pre precipitation. This, they go down to the soil and then the plant can, the plant's roots can again absorb some. I also wanted to tell you that the while evaporation, the plant also lets out water vapor. So the cycle goes on and on and on and on and will never run out of water. Now as my second question, how will it get air? This is the answer. Now, as the when the plant is breathing, it will take in oxygen and let out carbon dioxide. And while during the day, while photosynthesis with the help of sunlight, it will take in carbon dioxide that it had given out before and take in the and then release the oxygen that they had that it had taken in. This is how the plant will also never run out of air. This is just like a water cycle, only it is an air cycle. Now, apart from these three main observations, there are two more observations that we can make. Now, you will also observe that when we keep it in sunlight, the sun, the rays of the sun pass through transparent things. And one and one more that it is, the sunlight is very essential for plants even during the photosynthesis and it can be it can be in both ways directly or indirectly. Now just let's take a quick recap. This terrarium experiment is a three in one experiment where you can observe three main things. Water cycle, soil layers and air exchange in gas. You can make more observations and how fun it is going to be. And now just let me share two very nice amazing facts. So here's the first one. Did you know that some terrariums have lived about 40 years? Such an 
incredible terrarium and one more amazing fact so this is also quite important not all plants can grow in a terrarium because in a terrarium while conden while condensation it is gets very humid just like just like we have it in our coasts so only the plants that that can survive in humidity can live here like the plants of tropical islands or rainforests now i just wanted to tell you one some more information this plant here is a nerd plant it is called as phytonia and this plant here it is called as fern and this plant is called as the snake plant hope you enjoyed thank you